Hello, OpenXML developers. This is Eric White with OpenXMLDeveloper.org. Today I'm going to do something that is pretty fun. I'm going to take the source code for the OpenXML SDK, and I'm going to build the SDK library on Linux using the Mono C Sharp compiler. So let's get started. Here I have a fresh install of Linux Mint 17. Well, first thing that we have to do is let's go get Git. I'm looking at the Getting Started Installing Git page on git-scm.com and it tells me that the first thing that I need to do if I'm on a Debian-based distribution like Ubuntu, try apt-get. So it's apt-get install git. I'll go start a terminal shell. First thing I'm going to do is make myself super user. Then let's paste that command right in there. It tells me after this operation 21.6 megabytes of additional disk will be used and I do want to continue. The next thing that I need to get is I need to get the mono compiler and the framework that comes with the mono compiler. I've looked around on the web and I've seen that the command that will work for me is sudo apt-get install mono complete. It'll tell me that I need a 131 megabytes of additional disk space and that's just fine. And there we have gotten the mono compiler. I can exit now out of super user. I should be back in my home directory. I'm going to cd into the documents folder. And next thing I need to do is I need to use git to get the open XML SDK from GitHub. The command is git clone https colon whack whack github.com slash office dev slash open dash xml dash sdk. Let's cd into the folder that was created by git. Let's look and see what we've got. And yes, we certainly have our makefile dash Linux dash mono. So now we can go make dash f make file dash Linux dash mono. And we're going to make the build target. And off it goes. There are a few warnings here. We're going to be cleaning these up as time goes by. And there it's done. Let's take a look and see if we have a library. I'm going to go ls build slash openxml sdk lib. And there's our library right there. So now let's make a little simple example and see if this works. I've made a directory to contain the test file. I am now going to go over onto GitHub and get the sample program. This work here is thanks to Wes Wiggum, who first of all put together the makefile, worked out one of the issues associated with building it, and also put together a little example. So let's click into this particular pull request and down here at the bottom of the pull request here is his C sharp example. This looks like a plain old open XML SDK program. So I'm going to select all of that code and copy it and I'm going to vi test.cs put it into insert mode and I am going to paste 
what I just copied and I'll press the escape and colon X. Now as time goes on we're going to build up lots and lots of examples and lots and lots of test cases that you'll be able to run on the SDK but we have to crawl before we can walk and then we have to walk before we can run. This is crawling today. Things will get better in the future. I am very sure of that. The next thing that I have to do is I'm going to just copy the open XML SDK library into the same folder just to make it easy for me to build this little example. I'm going to cp dot dot slash open dash tab build tab open XML SDK live slash star dot dll and I'm going to copy those two dot and sure enough I have my open XML live dot dll next thing to do is run the C sharp compiler passing in the open XML live dot dll and windows base dot dll and giving it our name of our little sample program and press return and that built very quickly also there's our test.exe. Now I can type dot slash test.exe and I have to give it some name so I'll call it test.docx and it told me that it created test.docx and there it is. Well the next thing to do is let's start up LibreOffice and open that up. Tell it I want to open a file and there's open XML SDK test and I am going to open up test.docx and there folks is our hello world. I think this is just awesome and this is a good first step. There is a lot that we have to do. The first thing to get straightened away is put a whole bunch of tests in a testing harness and put it into the repository on GitHub because we want to make sure that as we move the OpenXML SDK forward, we don't cause any regressions, we don't cause any bugs to be introduced into the SDK, and we want this test harness to be cross-platform so that we can run the same test harness on Mono on Linux, and we can also run the same test harness with the Roslyn compiler on Windows and we can also run the same test harness using Mono on the Mac OS and so on and so forth. Having this infrastructure in place is going to help us make sure that we continue with the very high quality that the OpenXML SDK has been known for. We don't know from this little kick the tire test whether the whole OpenXML SDK is working, but I have to tell you, this is a great first step. Thanks very much to Wes for doing a lot of the work to get this all put together. That's all I'm going to cover today. Thanks for watching.